I would actually think that three minutes, if you have a clarity of thought around what you're building, three minutes is more than enough. <laughs> so clarity of thoughts um, around what you're building, your whys, and also understanding the mindset, like putting yourself in the shoes of Marcelo as a venture capitalist. It's not about how I like to run my pitch. It's more about, okay, I know that you're interested in this and this and this. I'm going to focus on the things that matter to you. And that requires some form of a homework because for some investors, markets matter more, you know, than teams. For some teams matter more than markets. Some focus on products, some focus on distribution. So you really need to fine tune your, you have to have like this kind of box products of your three minutes pitch and then make slight fine tunes depending on the customer that it, in, in this case is, you know, early stage VC with already established track record, already established portfolio approach. And yeah, I would focus on that. And there's one thing we call this ideal investor profile. So every startup should do the homework of looking at the space, looking at our website and see what does Marcelo like? What does fun X, Y, Z, what they like? What do I like about them and who I'm going to talk to? Just to add to what Marcelo just said, like really working strategy for startups would be to figure out who is the best performer in Marcelo's portfolio. Maybe not necessarily, like you don't want to necessarily go to Cesar from Gym Pass, but you need to see, okay, what are the companies that are kind of trending in his portfolio and maybe stalk a founder on LinkedIn and say, hey, you know, I'm going to pitch to Marcelo. Can you look at my pitch for one second and give me three pieces of advice or something like that? You know, when you do this kind of things, they also make a person you're pitching feel good. Because when you think about investing and venture capitalist entrepreneur relationship, it's actually relationships. So when somebody is pitching to you, you really want the person to know something about you and to put some hours and some work into getting to know you. Because otherwise, it just feels a little bit transactional. And if you're signing up for 10 years, you don't let probably the last thing that she wants to is to have transactional kind of relationship. Yeah. All right. So a lot of nuggets. There's claps even. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, 